Hi, I'm Saki, and today I'm going to show you how to add a B minor chord to a standard 21 chord auto harp. We're going to replace the B flat major with a B minor. The B minor is going to replace the B flat major. All right, guys, tutorial's over. Just kidding, I am actually going to show you how to do it, and it's slightly more involved than changing out a sticker. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is remove the chord bar covers. And once you do that, take out the B flat major. Uh, and you're also going to take out the rightmost chord bar because you're going to want to put the B flat major one into that slot and uh, be able to see the felt more easily for marking it with a dressmaker's pencil or a white colored pencil or uh, whatever you want that you can see easily. Um, so I'm just going to mark out which pieces of felt to cut and which ones to save. So you're probably wondering why I'm changing the B flat major chord. Uh, and that's because I write a lot of songs that have B minor in it, and I really don't use B flat major all that much. And when I do, uh, there's a B flat seven chord right here. Uh, and so it's kind of redundant. Second reason though, is that to go from B flat major to B minor, uh, we only have to sharpen F and natural a B flat. The D in the middle does not change, so that saves us a little bit of cutting. Okay, back to the cutting. So right now we're gonna move this B flat over and turn it into a B. Well, actually, we're just gonna cut it out first, but anyway, we're gonna cut this B flat out. Um, and I'm just cutting straight down and then sliding the craft knife underneath it to separate it from the wood. And save that piece of felt because we're going to need that later. And then this next piece here, this is an F that I'm going to move over to become an F sharp. Okay, so at this point, I've removed all of the Fs and all of the B flats, and we're going to scoot everything over one notch to sharp them. And we're going to use contact cement to fasten them all. And here is the method I like to use. So instead of using the brush to brush the contact cement on, I'm just dabbing the felt block onto it, and then using, using the excess to coat uh, the surface of where it's going to go. And it's very important that you don't just stick it on right away. That's just, that's not how contact cement works. I have a video on how contact cement works. Please look at the video if you don't know. Um, but basically you have to let these cubes dry for about 10 minutes. Uh, do not skip this step. Um, okay. And now they are dry. Uh, you should be able to touch them and they should not be sticky. And then when you put them back into place, they should magically just stick there. Uh, I know, they, they, it's crazy. They're, they're not sticky, but they will stick to each other. Anyway, um, so uh, I'm just putting them all back on now. These are now F sharps and B naturals. Yay. And that is the completed bar. And now I'm going to stick it back in for a sanity check. I'm just going to see if it sounds like a B minor. So that's basically it. But wait, there is more. I have a really exciting announcement. So t as of today, my YouTube channel has 101 subscribers. So thank you. I drew you guys a heart on a scrap of fabric for my jacket. Okay, anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for subscribing. It means a lot to me, but it also means I get a custom URL. But I can't figure out how to do that, so actually I need some help. So if someone knows the answer to this question, please leave a comment or send me a message because I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. Okay, so as you can see, here's, so here's my channel page. I have 101 subscribers. Again, thank you. Um, and then I go to Customize Channel and uh, I go to Basic Info and go down to my URL and there's supposed to be an option to change it. Uh, there is not, so I click Learn More. And uh, I, tr I try to follow the instructions to customize my channel URL. Um, as you can see, 
there are these requirements and I, I have all those things. I have 100 subscribers or more. I have a banner photo, a profile photo, and the channel is more than 30 days old, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, so I, I went, I did all the things it said, but there is no link. There, there's no link here that allows me to change my channel URL. So uh, yeah, anyway, if you know the answer to that question, uh, please leave a comment, uh, send me a message or whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, also, thank you. Thank you.